It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Spare me? Ah, yes. No, you simply did not learn the lesson I sought to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the Exile did what she did. There is much to be done. Master, she is here. I know. What is thy bidding, my master? You are to do nothing. When she arrives, bring her before me. She may not survive Malachor. So touching. Can it be you still have feelings within that shell? Master, what will you do to her? You know what I shall do. You, who wear my teachings so well. I will break her. She is a blank slate upon which my teachings may be written, as you well know. Leave me. Await the arrival of the exile. When she comes, bring her before me. <clears throat> okay, so we are here looking for Kriya. We've made it to Malachor 5, or is it Malachor 4? Um, where's everyone else? They must be stuck on the Ebon Hawk. We can't get back to them, so we're going to have to go out uh, alone and uh, deal with Kreia ourselves, it seems. Now, what are we going to face uh, out here? Uh, there's three paths for us to take. One with some uh, growing, uh, some glowing green stuff at the end. Let's take a quick look at the map. Uh, let's go. F let's go for the uh, the northern path first of all. And is that going to? Is that like poisonous or anything? Uh, is that going to hurt us or not? Oh, all right. Um, I wonder if we could probably just avoid that stuff. I think, uh, I think we're okay. All right. Uh, cry bang grenade and a life support pack there. We do have a mask if this gets to be too much of a, a hassle, but. Um, no, it looks fine. Okay, we got through that pretty uh, pretty easily, so let's just keep having a look around. And... Dead end. Damaged console. Engine core damaged minimal power. Okay, we can't use that console. There is a corpse here, though. Someone else has died, and they've left behind a Mandalorian Heavy Reaper, so we're going to go and grab that. Um, I wonder if there's any way that we can uh, fix that console. Try and avoid the gas. Oh, there is a storm beast. There is something to attack here. There is a, a storm beast uh, over here. Let's just go and uh, see how easy or difficult they are to take out. He did manage to do a little bit of damage, but uh, it's not too bad. We're going to heal up here. Uh, looks like there are some more storm beasts around there as well. Uh, there is another corpse. Let's go and check this out. Uh, Pontite crystal. I think I've already got one of those. And it looks like a, a meteor or something has crash landed down here. And uh, left a kind of shell there. But there's nothing we can... Nope. There's nothing we can do with that. Oh, we are being attacked here. There we go. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Just to put it to sleep. We're going to take this one out and then uh, deal with the other one. Okay, nothing here. We're going to carry on. Ah, oh, there's another storm beast. Oh, that did not work. Whoa, what was that? 
He's immune. This guy extra tough or something. He's immune to, to, to sleep, it seems. Oh, there we go. We got it. We finally got one off. And uh, now we can take him out. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we've leveled up as well. Let's go and have a quick look. We are Jedi Master level 10. Now Jedi Master level 11, I think. Uh, skills, we're going to level up computer use, awareness, persuade, and security. And then we're going to go over to powers. And uh, what else do we want here? We do have... Um, well, we could go for Dominate Mind. There's some of these dark force powers that we're probably not going to be that good at using. Uh, let's just go for um, uh, Dominate Mind here. Allows persuasive use of the force. That, I'm not sure if that's going to come in handy or not uh, at this stage of the game. Can I even get down there? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. I just want to draw one of these. Oh, there is only one there. <clears throat> there we go. Let's put him to sleep and uh, use the Master Flurry here. There's another one behind him, but uh, hopefully we can deal with this one before the other one notices us. Nope. All right. Let's just let's just use the Master Flurry here. Oh, there we go. It did work. All very misty around here. Is there anything hidden uh, around the corner? No, around the rocks. No, all looks good. Oh, there is a little, uh, little pathway here, heading down to the south as well. And it's a bit, uh, it's a bit like a maze down here. There is another storm beast down there. Let's go and take this one out. It's just, just the one, it seems. Go. A couple of hits and uh, he's gone. Is this some kind of a waterfall here? Uh, there's the Ebon Hawk there. It's kind of lodged in the side of that uh, that canyon there. Um, hopefully everyone else is all right, but uh, we're going to have to complete this uh, this mission alone, apparently. If the exile has come here, then she has not come alone. Of course, apprentice. The huntress is with the exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, but not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. We shall see if prey can become a predator. Her breaking shall be flesh and bone, or it shall be inside. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Well, here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise. Why can't we ever go to Alderaan, I-4, or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts? Who is that? Ah. Okay, hopefully she's gonna be alright. Sounds like a good, uh, good spot to save the game here. I thought we were going to take control of Mira, but um, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like we will. Maybe later on we'll we'll get control of Mira again. Um, is there anything up here? It's just a dead end, isn't it? Okay, more dead ends, more jagged rocks.
Bonded plates, Mark III. It's, uh, it's pretty desolate here, actually. It's very, very desolate. There's just a few poison gas clouds. The odd uh, storm beast here or there, which I can usually uh, put to sleep. No, nope, it's not going to work this time. That's fine. We'll just have to take it out the regular way. There we go. There's another one of these uh, these eggs here, and um, looks like a crashed uh, crashed meteor or something. Is this another crashed shuttle or something? Verpine prototype shield. And okay, another damaged console. The last one we couldn't use at all. Can we use this one at all? Can we fix it? Nope. We can't fix that uh, at all. Okay. Another buried Republic ship. Okay, we're gonna have to head up here to the north and uh, see what else we can find. Okay, to the Malachor Depths. Uh, do we want to finish exploring the rest of this map uh, first of all? I think we will. Um, we'll just quickly explore the other uh, centre of this map. Uh, let's try once more. There we go. And then we'll head into the uh, the Malachor Depths and see if we can find a Kraya down there. There we go. It usually takes us two swipes to take out these Storm Beasts. Just going to make sure we haven't missed anything down here. Probably just dead ends, but you never know. There we go. I'm gonna to have to run around these uh, these poison here. Single swipe. Let's look it down. Beautiful. Let's check out the corpse as well. Heavy Sinagar war suit. Let's go and grab that. And is there oh is there anything else? For us here, no, there's not. There is a little sneaky, sneaky little path. Um, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, that one's a dead end. But there is a sneaky little path just over here. Um, let's see where this goes. Uh, Fre Freya's War Blade. Let's go and grab that one. There's nothing else up here, though. I guess we could use night speed to just explore this map a little, little bit quicker. Uh, dead end? Yep, dead end. Alright. Uh, where else haven't we been? Uh, there's a few little paths down there just to the center, so... Should we, should we bother going to the center of this map? There may be another quest. There may be somebody standing around. You never know. We might just have a quick look. And, um... See if we can just find out what's there. Past the waterfalls here, we're going to take a left, and uh, there is another storm beast, so let's go and take him down. I lost my night speed apparently, but we can take these guys out in a single hit now sometimes, which is good. Uh, is there anything else over here? Nope. Anything? We're down in a little uh, little ditch here, but I can't, oh, can't, can't see anything, can't really see where I'm going either. Um, is that it? Okay.
There is a little path. It's hard to figure out where these paths are, actually. There is a little path, I think, just around here. Uh, there is another corpse. Uh, a shiny dueling shield. Well, they always come in pretty handy. There is another little path heading around here as well. Uh, there's nothing here in the mist. Let's head up here to the north and... Let's go just with the master speed. I can get in some extra attacks here. Let's just go and take him out. There we go. Beautiful. And that is that is that, I think. Okay, beautiful. It's all done. Alright, let's head back uh, as quickly as we can. We're going to head into the Malachor Depths. There wasn't anything uh, interesting here for us to have a look at, unfortunately, but uh, I think we got few extra bits of loot uh, to take with us so that's uh, that's all fine but we do need to head back now to um, to the entrance to the Melacor depths Okay, we cross the bridge once more, and um, hopefully Kraya is going to be down here, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, complete complete this game. It's been a pretty epic adventure, getting this far. And where is the? Uh, what's up here, isn't it? Okay, so we need to head across uh, just to the right. And then take a left into the Malachor Depths, and it's probably a good spot to uh, save the game before we actually do go in there. Alright, let's do it. Okay, we are going to have to fight uh, Hanha. We can level up, of course. Um, what have we got here? Has she not got her little rocket boosters? I don't even know what she's got. Let's take a few shots first of all and see how quickly he goes down. Not very quickly at all. Alright, we're going to have to level her up, but uh, we've got the Achani shield. Alright, let's let's have a look at Mira. It's been a long while since we've... We've had a look at her. So, we're going to give her some skills. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back here. We're just going to, uh, to auto-level up, I think, because there's quite a few levels she needs to do. Yeah, that's five levels. So, she's got uh, high dexterity, pretty low strength, so she's pretty weak, but she's uh, pretty good with the, with the blaster. Um, let's go and uh, quickly have a look at her equipment because I'm sure this I'm sure we've got some better stuff now um, she does 10 to 19 damage and 9 to 18 damage which is actually not too bad she's also got the rich launcher here um, heavy pistol is there anything else uh, is there anything a bit better than that um, Okay, heavy pistol, 2 to 11 damage. We could use the Mandalorian Disintegrator. Uh, it is a blaster pistol, 6 to 16 damage, unstoppable. Sounds good to me. Let's give her one of those. Uh, let's give her two of those, actually. Unless there's something better. 5 to 14. 
Uh, a stun chance is pretty good. I think we're going to go for the two Mandalorian disintegrators. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, we got a couple of uh, Mandalorian disintegrators here. Let's give this a go. Ah, she's still not doing a lot of damage. Where's her? Ah, she she does have that armband. I don't know where to use that though. We are going to have to give her a, a battle stimulant. Does she not have any med packs? There's got to be a few med packs here. Let's go for um, let's run, let's run a little bit. Use the life support pack. If she can, let's run a little bit again, and um, run, 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 run. Use another life support pack. She wants to. Sh okay, let's have a quick look at this. I don't know. She can't seem to use the wrist launcher. I don't know why um, we're, we're not given that option. But um, we do definitely do need the uh, the dueling shield here. Uh, that's going to protect her quite a bit. She's got the cardio regulator. We're just going to leave everything as it is, I think. And we're going to run. We're going to run. Use the dueling shield. She's going to take a few shots first. We're going to use the dueling shield. Uh, we're going to use the life support pack. Did, did the dueling shield not work? Not really. Another life support pack, please. Why does she always want to fight first? Uh, another. <laughs> why can't Why can't she use her uh, her missiles? Where are they? Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, explosive rocket. That's another one for me. I don't know why she likes shooting first. I don't want her to shoot first of all. But anyway, there we go. Stop shooting first! Would she stop shooting first? God. That really screws her up. No, don't. Mm, she can't help it. She just wants to keep shooting. Fair enough. It's going to kill her though if she does that. Uh, see, why does she take a shot first? I don't want her to take a shot first. It's going to kill her. We're going I'm, to. I'm trying hard to keep her alive, Mira, but you're not helping me out here by taking those stupid little shots first of all. Uh, I don't know how to cancel this one. But anyway. I guess she needs to disengage. Uh, looks like we may be able to take down Han Ha. What I want to do is use a tranquilizer dart, see if I can tranquilize him and not actually kill him. Let's try that, shall we? Let's go and use. Oh, here we go. Uh, par par paralysis dart. Let's use a paralysis dart, shall we? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, no, she shot anyway. Kill me in the life, dead shall be settled. I cannot be in your debt twice. It will only be a second death to me, whether you spare me or kill me. There's no need for this. You don't owe me a life debt, I release you. So, you serve Kraya now? Lead me to Kraya, Hanhar. If she is as powerful as you claim, then she will destroy me and you shall be free. Uh, whatever you say, but you walk ahead of me just the same. Well, that was a pretty tough battle, but we did manage to get through it uh, with some life support packs helping us out along the way. Looks like uh, Hanhar is taking Mira to see Kreia and uh, where 
searching for Kraya as well. Um, okay, to the Malakor surface. Hopefully this is not going to be as complicated as the original, um, as the surface area. Let's go and use speed. Can I target? Uh, let's put it to sleep if I can. There we go. Use a couple of flurries. One should do. Oh no, we do need a second flurry. To take down this storm beast and uh, let's carry on. Take down the uh, another storm beast over here. There's a few of them. Okay, it looks like there are a few a few more storm beasts down here. There's another corpse, and uh, we'll see if there's anything important here. Cryoban grenade. Um, okay. Once again, lots of jagged rocks and uh, complicated paths to follow. Uh, a few storm beasts here and there. I put this one to sleep. Nope, that's fine. Lots of little tunnels all around the place. Some of them just leading nowhere. I do see another storm beast uh, down there. I'm gonna have to check all, all of these paths. Ah, there's another storm beast over there. Can I put this one to sleep? Yep. Let's use our night speed as well. And uh, while we're here with the night speed, we're gonna take out this one up here. I'm going to wait before we go through those doors. Let's just make sure we've explored uh, everything else uh, on the eastern side of this map. <clears throat> Another life support pack. We're going to grab that. Uh, is there anything else up here? Anything else at all? A few more meteorites or whatever they are. And... There is another buried Republic ship there. I didn't notice a console. Um, maybe there is one there though. Let's go with master speed again. Head up this time to the north. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, another Buried Republic ship. Alright, let's go and have a look inside this one and see if... Now it's damaged again. We haven't been able to use any of these consoles. So we haven't been able to get any information about what their, um, what happened to these ships. Okay, a uh, little bit more for us to explore. And uh, we're going to continue uh, running around down here in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you all again soon for... Oh my goodness, what is this? I think we found the entrance. Uh, Kraya must be down there. Uh, we can't get through. We can't uh, slide down from here. So we will have to find another way uh, down to the entrance of this, um, this facility here in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you all again soon for Knights of the Old Republic 2.